Let's analyze the all 22 of every single Dak Prescott touchdown thrown this year. A deep dive, part one. Dak's first touchdown doesn't actually occur until week seven because of the injury that he sustained and honestly, some really poor play against the Buccaneers to open the season. This first throw is to Ferguson and we see we have some motion here from Pollard and then we're gonna have these two guys, some play action to the right and these two guys leak out here to the left. I do a little blocking. This guy comes up on this, realizes he's in trouble and even whiffs on trying to hold his dude and Dak sees he's got both of these options. Literally nobody over here and pretty easy touchdown. This is a fun one. We get to really see kind of uh, how this motion plays with this defense. It's gonna cause this uh, safety or corner to play pretty far outside. And because of that, that motion, he's coming out here. There's gonna be this giant gap right here. Prescott and Lamb see that and Prescott just puts that ball right on the money. Touchdown, pretty easy. All right, the second touchdown, quick run up to the line. Uh, this is something they did on a lot of short yardage this year. They're gonna use this to confuse the defense and do a little play action and get Ferguson wide open here in the end zone. All right, on to Green Bay. You can see that rush the line once again. This is an interesting setup because they've got two receivers. This is Noah Brown and C.D. Lamb, two tight ends and a running back, but they're gonna line up Pollard as the wide receiver over here on the right side and Lamb here as the back. There's a blitz coming in here. You can see that. And Dak's just gonna do what you're supposed to do whenever you see that blitz, which is you throw at it. And so he throws directly over here. You can see that these two guys are covered. He's gonna get rid of this ball because this dude is uncovered and gets it over the defender. It's thrown a little bit behind CD Lamb. You know he has to stop for it, but that actually works to his advantage because then these guys over pursue and he's able to break those tackles and get into the touchdown. I'm not saying Dak did it on purpose, but it was nice. Cowboys again in the red zone, and just as actually three wide receivers, you get Gallup here uh, as before. Got a little bit of motion, and what we're gonna watch is we're gonna watch uh, Schultz sort of make his way across on a drag route, and we get some decent protection. Uh, you can see uh, Steel getting blown back, but you can also see that there's nobody really out here. Dak puts that throw. Good spot, Schultz does a good job of not going down with weak contact and we score a touchdown. This has got to be a frustrating one for the Green Bay Packers because Cowboys really only run two guys. Uh, Pollard comes out late after the play action, but they've rushing four and got seven back and they've got seven people trying to cover two and a half people basically. And so we'll see this play action. We got a, a delayed release, you can see we have Gallup up here at the top and C.D. Lamb down here. Now C.D. Lamb's gonna kind of break this down and uh, 23 is gonna get fooled. He goes on the inside. You can see that Lamb is breaking to the left, that instep, and then uh, Dak's gonna put this ball on the money and he just runs away from the defenders, easy touchdown. Moving on to the Vikings, this was a fun game. Total destruction of the Minnesota Vikings. And you can see that there's nobody open around here. And so Dak's just gonna check it down here to Pollard and Pollard's gonna get an excellent block from Schultz there and use his speed to score a touchdown. What's cool is that the second touchdown is actually pretty similar. We're gonna see a man coverage here, but it leaves this linebacker here to cover Pollard. Dak's gonna hike this and look to his left and not see what he wants over there. Uh, looks like we have two outs and then maybe a go on this side. This right here, this dude's gonna run a post and Dak takes a look here and he honestly, he delivers a total dime. That is a perfect throw. And again, what you'll see, the way that Schultz runs this block, he prevents 32 from, or 22 from getting any sort of angle. And so Schultz had a pretty large impact on both of those touchdowns. Pretty cool play. This is another great throw by Dak and just trusting your guys. We're gonna be focused down here, we have a Pollard that's gonna run an out, and then Schultz is gonna run a post corner. 
and we can see Pollard's actually got some space here, but Schultz is gonna break his guy down here and get a little separation to the left. Dak's gonna throw that ball up high where only his guy can get it, and there you go. Touchdown against the Giants. Well done. And then Schultz points at the guy. Schultz has some low key, pretty sick burns. Second touchdown against the Giants. We have a play action here to the left. You're gonna get Schultz here running to the right, pretty open. But what's good about this is he stays enough on his feet and gets the dive into the touchdown. Pretty simple play design, nothing too special, uh, but it scores a touchdown, gets guys open, and that is set up by the run game. Gotta like that. Onto the Colts, redact through three touchdowns. We have a little motion here to the left with CeeDee Lamb, who features pretty prominently in this. He's got a drag here, he catches this ball, and he does something pretty epic, which is the defender tackles him but gets under him, so he has his awareness up. He's a 99 awareness on Madden, I guess, uh, and he runs in for the score because that dude never touched the ground. This one is going to be on his highlights for his whole career. What a touchdown. Next touchdown throw from Dak. Here we have some motion from C.D. Lamb. He's going to go across the screen. You can see he looks at the defense. He's got two defenders over there, and I guess they decide right away that that's not what they're going for. They get some pressure from the right. Dak breaks to his right. Gallup does what you're supposed to do when you see your quarterback break the pocket, which is he follows him. So Dak rewards him with the ball, and at this moment, he's got four defenders in front of him between him and the end zone, and somehow he chooses just the right place. I guess you get a little credit here to Pollard with this block there. That helps quite a bit. And then the nice dive uh, for the touchdown. Gotta love that. Next play, motion from Zeke here to his left side. And he's gonna look to his right, and Dak's just gonna throw this high fade. I love this play, and something I think the Cowboys really missed since, honestly, Des Bryant. I haven't seen a guy that the Cowboys really could rely on in this fashion, and this is uh, something I'd like for us to go back to. It's a cool play. It's easily run, and it's really hard to defend. Dak's only touchdown against the Texans is this one right here. There's motion here to the right. Dak gets some initial pretty good protection. 73 eventually gives up some pressure there on the inside. Dak checks it down to Pollard, who's got a lot of space, really. He catches this. He stays on his feet here. It looks like there's a dude that tries to tackle him by his helmet. And then one of the weirder touchdowns is Pollard kind of just slide stepping into the end zone. This touchdown is made by Pollard. I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes, so this is the end of part one of Dak Prescott's 28 touchdowns that he threw this year. Part two is on the screen, or will be when it's ready, but right now there's every single interception that Dak Prescott threw all broke down, analyzed from the All-22 perspective. Hope you guys enjoy.